ai that if you are interested you can gain expertise and start building your career in those domains uh, like durability crash and safety nvh cfd thermal engineering optimization mbd or multi body dynamics uh, so these are all applicable to all domains means durability or uh, nvh that is noise vibration and harshness or crash and safety these are all applicable for automotive industry as well for consumer goods for defense domain etc so these are the domains which you can choose as uh, to focus on and to start building your career uh, now we come to the main part that is steps to become a cae engineer or the exact path how to proceed many people have asked me on linkedin as well so you are here let me take you through it quickly uh, the first step is gain a fundamental understanding of engineering subjects now i have uh dedicated a separate slide for this step all other steps are like in chronological order which i will be explaining but this step one deserves a separate slide because as even we discussed previously with uh, sandeep also that how basics are important in problem solving so a sound understanding of basics can help you solve 90 percent or more than 90 percent of the problem in ca because all the remaining 10 percent is all like tinkering with the tools interpreting the results etc and from a mechanical mechanical engineering point of view you should be familiar or proficient with these topics which i have mentioned here it is app make numerical methods solid mechanics metallurgy machine design fluid mechanics and even uh, vibration basics that is what is natural frequency what is resonance etc so if you are a civil engineer and you want to make a career in ca then these topics will be totally different maybe some might be common as well so this is the first step to gain a fundamental understanding without this step without this crucial step never uh, proceed to next step that is which i will take now uh, learn ca software but first choose a domain once you are familiar once you are proficient with uh, basic fundamentals then you can start with ca software but again uh, you cannot learn all the softwares there are many ca softwares existing today on CI in the world you cannot uh, say like you cannot choose any random software and become master at it because each and every software has a different purpose that purpose will be defined by your domain of interest uh, say for example i am interested in crash and safety domain so or sitting domain or sitting product as a product i am interested in sitting analysis so i will first master the fundamentals which are required in sitting or crash and safety like conservation of momentum concepts of statics and dynamics uh, stress strain curve uh, theories of failure uh, likewise i will first master those concepts after that i will see which are the relevant software uh, relevant to that domain like crash and safety which will be like fam crash ls dyna hypermesh so i will start learning uh, hypermesh and ls dyna right away once i choose a domain and i am good at the basics okay so then comes the third step that is practice with sample program uh, problems so there are websites like alter and uh, sim scale and simulia where they have provided tutorials and basic case studies for some sample problems so you can refer those case studies refer that material and do your own small mini projects so that you get an idea about how the solver works what is the work of the pre processor how to interpret results etc so you get a basic idea by practicing uh, these problems and again this reminds me of one more thing i forgot to mention while you are uh, doing step one that is you are mastering your basics after mastering them even try to solve some problems because even if you are 10 years experience person in ca even if you are 20 years person experience in ca you still require to do hand calculations there are many ca engineers in this session you can even ask them if this is true that you need to do hand calculations to verify the results and uh, like drawing a free body diagram so that you get to know where the boundary conditions are applied and stuff like that so that practicing is also important and this practicing that is after once you learn the software once you are good with the basics it's time to apply that knowledge by practicing with sample problems now the step four is gaining industrial exposure so many times what happens uh, when we do when we are aware about what we can do with so and so software we start doing analysis and we start to enjoying that stuff so that and we enjoy it so much we start immersing ourselves in that uh, 
learning process and even do projects which are not may not be required in the industry so it is important to know what's going on in the outer world what's going on in the industry that you can know by attending seminars workshops uh, webinars or conferences by industry professionals uh, there are many conferences like alter conference or dyna conference which occur every four times in a year so you should stay updated on when the next conference will be go and attend that event uh, take down notes of various uh, speeches from industry professionals try to meet them and gain an idea about what's going on in the industry what are the latest developments and which what things are already outdated so that will give you a good idea then the next step will be join professional organizations or communities uh, in our daily life we have joined lots of groups say for example i am interested in football or i am interested in crash analysis so i will join those groups on whatsapp it, they are like basic communities where i can interact with like minded people who are also interested in football so that we can plan things like when should be when should we play the next match when should we plan the next tournament or uh, if i came across any error i can post it in that group whatsapp group so these are nothing but communities so similarly there are professional or uh, professional organizations or communities which are made only for engineers it is like a uh, sae is one community that is society of automotive engineers then there will be msme asme society for mechanical engineers likewise you can search them on google and start joining those organizations uh, attending their events connecting with those people then the next step that is sixth step is gain gain practical experience by working on projects so this is the step which is uh, has a lot of importance in ca domain because even if you practice all this even from step 1 to 5 you are expert in all these steps you have gained everything learned everything but still you have not got that industrial exposure you have not worked on some real world project then this knowledge means nothing so it is important to do some internships see seek out opportunities in the market uh, connect with people through these organization or communities and ask them directly if you have any relevant uh, internship opportunities grab that opportunity do an internship for say three to four months uh, during that internship learn whatever you can because i also went through same phase me and lots of my friends who recommended me that path i went through internships i got some basic knowledge i worked on real world projects because what happens when you work on a real world project you come to understand customer's point of view what he expects from us from our project and you also get to learn some soft skills like how to interact with customers that will just add as a value it will be adding value to your portfolio now the next step that is step seven is uh, pivotal it, this step can be pivotal in your career that is network with the right people uh, if you have right people around you if you are in environment with the right people then you will get opportunities uh, <clears throat> means you are likely to get more opportunities uh, we have various platforms like Instagram, WhatsApp, LinkedIn. So you can utilize those uh, platforms and start connecting with people in the industry. You can search for who all are CA engineers in my field, who all are working in the crash and safety domain. Start connecting with them and along with that also start connecting with HRs or human resource people on LinkedIn belonging to that company. So that whenever they will post any uh, relevant requirements or openings in their company, you will come to know and you can apply it right away and eight step that is keep learning and upgrade consistently so it will never happen that you will master all the softwares existing in ca and you will learn everything every domain knowledge you will have it will never happen because ca is a vast field and it is impossible to master every field and it is a continuously evolving domain so you also need to continuously upgrade yourself uh, stay in touch with what are the latest technologies that are coming align your skill set with those in the market so that you and your skills never go outdated and while following all these eight steps make sure you are always in touch with the basics that is the first step that i mentioned earlier uh, it happens that when we start learning some things and we go further we tend to forget what we learned earlier but in this case you even if you are doing any projects even after if, if you spend 10 years in ca you will still still need to stay in touch with the basics i hope this clarifies to everyone i hope this helps everyone 
and another thing i would like to mention here is it's joining coaching institute worth it so yes if you join a coaching institute this all these steps you will have to follow but it will speed up your process because you will come in contact with a uh, lot of prof other professionals who are working in that field who are senior personnel who can guide you well and uh, there is a good learning environment in coaching institutes and even you get a mentor who can guide you and he knows where you are going wrong and how to bring you on track so i am not advocating that you should join coaching institutes i am not advocating any coaching institutes but it they act as a catalyst uh, when you are on your path to become a ca engineer so that's it for all the eight 